March 2nd, 1955, Claudette Colvin's life changed forever. A 15-year-old boarded a segregated city bus on her way home from school in Montgomery, Alabama. Her mind was filled with what she'd been learning during Negro History Week. At one bus stop, several white passengers got on the bus, and the bus driver ordered her and the three others to move. Even though there were seats for the white passengers, three black people got up. Colvin stayed. She was taken off the bus by two policemen and was charged and arrested. The African American community was outraged. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. came to Montgomery to fight her arrest, and leaders in the civil rights movement saw a way to end bus segregation. They looked at Claudette Colvin as a potential face of the movement, but they felt she was too young and too dark skinned to be the right fit. And then she became pregnant and then realized she couldn't appeal to it white Americans. Nine months later, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus, and the boycott then began. Parks was educated, older, lighter-skinned, and had a job. Although her refusal to move was not directly planned, she was already a part of the civil rights movement.